Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to go over 10 of the very best Cydia tweaks currently available for and compatible with the untethered iOS 8.4 Taiji jailbreak before iOS 8.4.1 drops. <laughs> All right, so to start off, the tweaks highlighted in today's video are all new or recently updated tweaks compatible with the 8.4 untethered Taiji jailbreak. What's more, I will have one link down below in the more info for you guys that's just a post on my website that will contain every tweak in a written format that I'm going to highlight in today's video. It's just so much easier to consolidate everything inside of one place and it keeps the description box looking clean. Moreover, you will need to be jailbroken to install any of the awesome tweaks I'm about to highlight. So in order to jailbreak, just be sure to check the annotations on the screen now. Be sure to watch this video on the desktop version of YouTube so you can actually click them. I will also have a few links to some of my past top Cydia tweaks videos, and I will also have a card link to on your screens now that will take you to my complete untethered iOS 8.3 and 8.4 jailbreak tweaks playlist. So if you want even more tweak coverage, just be sure to check that out. And if you are interested in my wallpaper, because because that's one of the questions that I receive most often, then you can actually click on the card that should be on your screens now to go to a post on my site that will contain the high resolution download for the wallpaper. Now with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into this list. Up first, we have tweaks pertaining to the Apple Music app, or at least the default music app, because when Apple introduced iOS 8.4 to the public, they also released Apple Music, the company's brand new music streaming service. I've been using it so much recently, and chances are good you guys have been too, especially with Apple Music's three-month free trial. So up first, we have a tweet called No Now Playing Status Bar. It's just very simple and streamlined. So as you can see up at the top, we of course have our status bar, but when we enter the Now Playing mode, it's no longer there. This is just how it should look by default in my opinion. It's much cleaner, and it just gives an overall better feel inside of the Now Playing view. So as you can see, when we go to exit it there, we still have it, but when we tap back into it, we no longer have the status bar. Now moving right along, we have a tweak called no music interruptions for incoming calls. So what this tweak does is it essentially allows you to play your music and receive a phone call and let the music continue playing. Now this is really great for continuity, which was introduced with iOS 8.1 that will allow your phone calls to come through on other devices. So for instance, if you own a Mac or or something like an iPad, chances are good those will ring as well when you receive a phone call. And it's really great for those of you who are Apple Watch owners because your watch will still vibrate as well as play its default notification when you receive said call, but your phone won't. It'll just continue to play the music, which is also awesome if you decide to just decline that call. So I skipped ahead in the song a little bit. We're going to test the tweak now. I'm just going to tap to play and we're going to initiate a FaceTime call. So as you can see there, we did receive that call, and yet the music kept playing, which isn't how it is by default. So that's a really great tweak that I'm starting to enjoy. Now next up, we have one called Song Count. So as you can see here inside of the My Music tab, we have all of our songs listed here, but if we actually go to the bottom, we do have a total song count. So we have 110 songs added inside of Apple Music, and if you're inside of My Music and you bring up this A through Z selector, if you just go down to the bottom, it will show your total songs there. Now we have one that's actually intended for the music app, but for those of you who don't use Apple Music. So let's go ahead and go inside of Cydia. I don't have it installed because of course I love Apple Music and I use it all the time like I previously mentioned. So this tweak is called No Music Downloaded Indicator. So scrolling down here, you'll notice this tweak states that it hides the downloaded or offline indicator inside of the music app for iOS 8.4 and while it's perfect for Apple Music users, for those of you who just sync your music via iTunes and you're not interested in the service, it kind of just makes everything look cleaner and it unclutters the default music app. Now moving right along out of our music app coverage, we have a tweak called Floater. Now this is very similar to the cornered tweak that I previously highlighted that adds somewhat of a cornered effect to various menus inside of iOS 8.4, which is inspired or taken from iOS 9. So this tweak takes it 
it even a step further though. So let's go ahead and launch up the settings app here and we're just inside of the floater settings for the tweet. First of all, you'll need to enable it. From there, you have a number of different elements that you can apply the effect to. As you can see, you can set it to notification center, control center. I actually turned it off of control center because I just prefer control center to be default, dock, app switcher, etc. You can see all of them listed here. All you have to do is toggle the ones that you want the effect to be applied to and then tap on respring and once your device respring's that's it the effect will be applied so as you can see here on the dock we have rounded corners and it's also kind of detached at the bottom it's kind of hard to tell so let's go ahead and get a close up zoomed in look here as you can see the dock is rounded and we do have kind of some space there at the bottom now it also applies to various menus same thing with cornered so let's go ahead and tap on the share menu here and you'll notice that we have the cutoff or rounded corners there as well just like for ios 9. now next we have one of my all-time favorite tweaks guys it's called bars so let's go ahead and get a close-up of this there are really no configurable settings all you have to do is just install it and instead of the circular cellular strength indicators that were introduced with ios 7 which was completely redesigned by Johnny Ive, we have the old style bar indicators and it even displays half bars for an even more accurate signal reading. For those of you who have basic passcode set, Roman passcode is a cool tweak that essentially replaces the regular numbers on your lock screen with Roman numerals. Now CC Speedup removes some of the animations from Control Center to make it open faster. So as you can see there, opening and dismissing Control Center is incredibly fast. We still kind of have that bounce animation toward the end there, but when we tap out of it, it's just gone. That's it. Control Center is no longer present, and it just makes interacting with your device and multitasking much faster. Now for those of you who like taking selfies, you'll enjoy this next one. Inside of the default camera app, when using the front-facing camera by default, iOS will automatically mirror the view because you're used to viewing yourself or seeing yourself inside of a mirror. Of course, though, with this tweak installed, as the name would suggest, you can undo that effect. So let's go ahead and toggle the front facing camera here. And as you'll notice, when we're looking at the Apple logo, when we tap this unmirror option, it will automatically unmirror it to show us an actual representation of what we're really looking at. All right, for the final tweak, we have one called Cylinder. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of a tweak called barrel before, which is a premium tweak that essentially adds transition animations to your page switches, but Cylinder is a completely free alternative with even more options. I have covered it before, though it's received a number of updates recently. So launching up settings, tapping inside of Cylinder here, all you have to do is just enable it. You can randomize it if you want or actually set formulas, which I'll get into right now. But essentially, you can see we have so many different animations here, and we have this little one checked by the cube inside no zoom animation. Well, what that means is that it's going to play that animation first. We can actually set another animation with it. So if we wanted to set one like double door, for instance, we can have that set to two. So we can have one be the cube, two be double door, and it will actually combine the animations based on the order that you specify. So we kind of have a cube there as well as a rotating door. It's really awesome animation and it's kind of trippy and you can create so many cool custom options here, guys. And what you can do once you have the options set that you like is you can create formulas. So just tapping inside a formula here, you can tap on create new formula, you can name it, and once you have it named, then you can apply it. And essentially, it just saves what you have currently set in your effects. So just swiping over here, you'll notice it applied this other formula, the one that I had set as HHH, which I used in a previous video. So cylinder is just as simple as that. It's very basic, yet it has true power, and it's really great. I prefer it to the paid alternative, actually, which again is called Barrel. I hope you guys like this video. If you found any of the tweaks detailed in it useful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because these videos take a lot of time to create, and also leave some of your favorite tweaks down down below in the comment section and I may include them in my next top tweaks video. Also just leave your thoughts there as well. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this latest list and if you guys want to help the channel out as well as earn some free prizes while doing so just be sure to navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of mobile safari on your iOS device, sign up and start downloading apps. Once you do you'll earn points and you can use said points for some awesome prizes including paid app store apps and gift cards.
cards. And you can also enter right now to win a $5 iTunes gift card. Now, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I create videos like this one covering jailbreaking and Cydia tweaks, or even iDevices, such as the upcoming iPhone 6S, be sure to click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And for even more updates, be sure to follow me on the three social networks I use the most, being Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I will have a link in the cards right now to my website where you can find me on all of the various social mediums. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.